think I just saw an attempted jab by Baez. Well, but Baez knows more about it than anybody in the building right now, George, and he does not seem to be fake. But he hasn't landed, or he hasn't turned one punch over yet up, down, up there. Got some good body punches in, but when he turns them over, somebody's going to go to sleep. You can disrespect the guy, but be careful. This has been a big first minute of round number six for Whitaker, who's very accurate with the uppercut and has temporarily stopped Pius from punching. Crowd picks up the steam a little bit. Now, Pius is clowning because he couldn't do anything else. Whitaker should not stop and start the clown with him. George Benton asked for Nell Whitaker between rounds to stay on his toes and try to find jabbing opportunities just as Lou Duba suggested he wanted to. You try to get at least three feet from the guy and have to have him walk to you. Then punch. There you are. After you throw your combination, you get you established at three feet distance again. Solid left to the body by Whitaker, and he tried to come with the right hand up top, and it was blocked. These uppercuts are landing, though, George. The uppercuts are landing, and they hurt. And eventually, they take a lot out of your chin. It affects your knees. is using his elbows really good. That's the only way to protect yourself from a good foul power. Use the elbows. This is about the point in the Poli Diaz fight when, as Larry Merchant pointed out, it became target practice for Whitaker. And he's been much more accurate in this round than in the three that preceded it. Keeping that distance. Keep that distance. Make the other guy walk to you, then hit him. Both fighters standing in this close, that's always a possibility. Thought a punch, the ref didn't pay any attention to it, so there's no need talking about it. And Pryor is wincing again. Generally, you do that when it's a punch. Pryor goes wild. A burst of energy following the cut for the right eyelid. And now Whitaker plants a straight right on the face of Pryor. The blood is going to flow. Come on. Come on. Come on. No Referee Mills Come Lane on. has said that what happened in the previous round that caused the cut to Paez was an unintentional headbutt. Very important that Whitaker stay ahead on points at this point. Whitaker gazing at the cut right eye going ahead with the left hand. Uppercut. Big cut. Most boxers, when they get cut, they panic. This guy's has a record of bleeding, so he's not going to panic. He thinks maybe next round I'll get him. What it's done for the moment is to energize Paez, but Whitaker is responding with some of his most devastating punching of the fight. That Whitaker can hit. Caution. Paez, if you're going to go to him, throw punches. Don't just walk in without punches. Larry, it's a pretty deep cut, and I think Paez's vision is being bothered. If the way he fights, it's really hard to say uh, just, just how much of a hindrance it is. If you're in Whitaker's corner between rounds, do you tell him to focus on that right eye or forget about it? Forget about the right eye. Keep going to the body. Keep building up your point system. Win this fight. Forget about the cut. The cut is not a gift. But I can tell you, Paez has had enough. Left to the body by Paez. Whitaker coming back straight ahead. Round seven in. Paez. The 
Well, this is a point in the fight at which Paez is very dangerous, George. Boy, is he landing good enough hooks to them. Whitaker's got to be sure that he doesn't get butted as Paez comes charging when, in. When you stay close, the cut is open up. I was almost certain he was cut. Right, and this is the time he should be searching for a knockout. <laughs> Not waiting, there's no more 15 rounds, you know. Go for the knockout. Forget about winning this fight by points. You're behind. Go for the knockout. They do a great job on Paez's cut eyelid between rounds. And then about midway through each round, the blood begins to flow. Here it comes again. Whitaker remembering to go to the body and then a devastating left hand right into the eye. And again. Hey, my Whitaker, you sit to hit him and he moves in another direction. Hard to get a solid punch off on him. Early on, Whitaker was circling him. Now you notice Whitaker's standing fast. He's not moving backwards or side to side. Like I control the fight. That's hard for I think Purnell has shown a capacity to be careful while still being aggressive in these last few rounds. Boy. is trying to relax him a little bit so he can get home a good shot. Have to plays with it and then maybe I can get home. Whitaker with a little clowning. Almost stepped over the top of Fias' head and Mills Lane doesn't like it and he wants a point deducted from Brunel Whitaker. He's warned him time and time out since the fight started about his time. Well, Larry Merchant told you before the fight about the incident four years ago when Whitaker pulled down Roger Mayweather's short. And tonight he has decided on a few occasions to outclown the clown. I have a question to throw out to you guys. Do you think that off of this fight, in fighting in this kind of stand-up economical style, that Whitaker is giving... Julio Cesar Chavez, anything to worry about. Believe me, he can whip him. You think he can beat Chavez? No doubt in my mind. I see he can take a punch and he can last. His only problem is he gets too careless in the last round. Okay, a point deduction now from Payet. Can't turn your back on a boxer. And that deduction was for holding and hitting the same crime for which Whitaker was penalized one round to go. I as a fan, listen, you're not going to treat me like that. About your question, Larry, I'm not so sure that Whitaker wouldn't play into Chavez's hands by fighting this style against Chavez. He'd be fighting Julio Cesar Chavez's fight. And now let's continue with the 12th round of Paez Whitaker here. A minute and a half to go. And Jorge Paez has hung in with the cut eye through six rounds of damage now. Not only did he hang in there, he put on a good show. When you consider he has to protect his eye half the fight. Left hand lands for Paez. His corner having asked him for the knockout. And Whitaker is momentarily stunned by a right hand. Step back, here we go. But now Purnell comes back with a combination in the middle of the ring. The tape is flying free off Paez's left glove, and now an exhausted Jorge Paez falls. And now Paez has got a minute left to see if with whatever energy he has conserved, he can mount a final assault against the champion.
There will be no knockout. 